In this video, we will look at the factors that contribute to short run and long run economic growth. Let's start with short run economic growth. Short run economic growth is associated with any increase in aggregate demand. Holding the productive potential of an economy constant, increases in aggregate demand will result in a rise in real GDP. Any increase in the components of aggregate demand will cause real GDP to rise, ceteris paribus. This includes consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. If you want to know more about the factors that cause aggregate demand to shift, review my earlier video on the shifters of aggregate demand. If you wanted to demonstrate short-run economic growth on the aggregate demand and aggregate supply diagram, you can show it like this. Uh, there is an increase in aggregate demand and real GDP rises from Y1 to YFE. Notice that the long-run aggregate supply curve did not shift, only aggregate demand did. That won't be the case when we look at long-run economic growth. Long-run economic growth occurs when there is an increase in the productive potential of an economy. In this case, the long-run aggregate supply curve would shift rightwards and the PPC would shift outwards. On the classical aggregate demand and aggregate supply diagram, it would be shown by a rightward shift of the long-run aggregate supply curve. On the Keynesian aggregate demand and aggregate supply diagram, it would look like this. The long-run aggregate supply curve shifts from LRAS to LRAS1, and this results in an increase in potential output from YFE to Y1. On the PPC on the right, we're showing the same change by shifting the PPC curve outwards from PPC A to PPC B. The productive potential of an economy will increase when there is an increase in the quantity or quality of the factors of production. The four factors of production are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Let's look at each one and consider how the quantity or quality of the factor could increase. First up is land. For an economy to increase the quantity of land it has, it would have to discover new resources. Remember, land is not just physical land, but all the natural resources that belong to a nation. If they uncover new oil reserves, for example, that would result in an increase here. For the quality of the land to improve, there could be improved techniques for the use of natural resources and their extraction. Also advances in fertilizer that would result in increasing crop yields would be another example. To increase the quantity of labor, an economy would need to have positive net migration, more people moving in than leaving. They could also raise the retirement age, which would increase the size of the labor force. To increase the quality of labor, the focus should be on developing human capital. This requires better education, training, and skills development. This would make labor more productive, and thus increase its quality. Capital includes man-made resources used in production. An economy would see a rise in the quantity of capital by an increase in firms purchasing more. An increase in the quality of capital would come from technological breakthroughs or research and development that generates these improvements. If there's positive net migration, more entrepreneurs may move to a country. If there's a population boom, it may also result in an increased number of entrepreneurs. If a country pursues policies of deregulation and privatization, this may encourage more entrepreneurs to start businesses. To increase the quality of entrepreneurship, a country may offer training and support to entrepreneurs and small and medium-sized businesses. So by now, you should have a clear understanding of the factors that contribute to short-run and long-run economic growth. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and let's try and answer them together. That's us done for now and I will see you in the next one.